Build your own rugged storage SSD for your Mac for under $50. How's it going? So everyone's taking a look at this drive here and you probably think it's a Lus C, which is basically one of those, you know, orange bumper type SSDs that you see all the time. This one actually isn't. This one's actually, a, it's basically called a Kingwin and it's just an enclosure and uh, does have the orange bumper on it though. So it's, you know, supposedly rugged and we're going to kind of put a little bit to the test. I'm not going to try to break or anything like that, but I'm just going to kind of let you know what I, my first impressions of this is. And, uh, and then I'm pairing it with a PNY. It's a 240 gigabyte SSD. And I was able to get both of these, and this is, you know, an SSD plus the external enclosure, which is USB 3.0, for under $50. I think the actual price was somewhere like $47 and stuff like that. I think even with tax, somewhere around there. In any case, um, so this is, you know, again, this is not Lussie. This is going to be a different brand that they made it look just like it. You know, you always see people, uh, YouTubers and stuff traveling, you know, in airports with this type of orange bump around their SSD. Um, an external drive, but I'm just going to go ahead and buy this. I think this is, you know, I think this is like 15, 20 bucks. And then I actually picked up this PNC and I'll have, you know, details about what it is. I picked it up for, you know, very cheap. It's a 240 gigabyte SSD as well. And it's a 535 read, 500 writes. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to go ahead and pair these, show you a little bit about them and then show you what they do in black magic on the Mac. And, uh, you know, for under 50 bucks, somewhere like in that $47, can you get a pretty rugged type storage with an SSD? Let's find out. Just want to let you know that I have links to both of these in my description. Go ahead and check them out. All right, so the enclosure I'm going to be using is the Kingwin KH203U3-BKRG. It's USB 3.0, and it's rugged, they say, so it's got a kind of an external bumper on it. And the back of it here is it says it's anti-shock. Uh, it's um, 5 gigabits per second data transfer rate, USB 3.0. It does have an aluminum internal case, supports hot plug and play. And it's for PC, notebook, and the Mac, the Apple computers as well. And some other stats you can see here below it. Weight is 0.25 pounds. So go ahead and take a look at this. Not a bad unit, but let's go ahead and take a look at it more. Here's the hard drive I'm going to be using. It's a 240 gigabyte by PNY, and that's a CS900 SSD. And uh, here is the back of it. So if you want to take a look at this, this is the back of the SSD right here. Um, and uh, here's a good look at the front of it when I take it out of the box. Looks kind of cool. And then the back, again, it's a CS900 SSD, 256 gigabytes. All right, so when you marry these two together, what do you get? Well, let's go ahead and show you how you do that first. It's, it's a pretty easy process. It does, the uh, actual enclosure comes with a USB 3.0 cable, a little screwdriver, and it's got that orange bumper. The orange bumper is not watertight. It does have this little switch here you can see um, to kind of protect it, but don't be fooled, it's not watertight. USB 3.0, and uh, it does have a really kind of, it's not that thick of an aluminum case, so without that rubber bumper, this would be pretty weak, but with it, it's okay. And uh, this is where you actually attach, you pull this out and attach the SSD to it, just like I did here. Here's a good example of what you need to do. All right, so the last step is just to attach these two little screws. There's only two screws that you screw in to attach it to the base. And uh, here's the completed unit. It's under $50 for 256 gigabytes. So once you plug in the drive, you want to go into disk utility. Make sure you pick this drive. Do not pick your main drive. You do not want to erase your main drive. You want to go up and click erase up here. And again, make sure you pick the PNY drive. Now mine is APFS. Now yours may have other options because I've already done this once, but you do want to format as APFS. And then you want to click erase, but make sure it's this drive and not your main drive or you're in big trouble. Um, anyways, it's going to go ahead and erase it and format, format it for you. And uh, now this is actually my other drive. Let's go back and check now the PNY drive to see what that says. So if we go back there after doing this, it looks like now it has 239.85 gigabytes there. And it is basically formatted, like we had said, APFS. And uh, it's ready to go there. So once it's formatted, once it has its space and it's all allocated and what have you, then you want to go ahead and, and I'm just going to bring up Blackmagic here. And this will show us the general speed of it. Now we're going to lose some because of the overhead and the cabling. It's USB 3.0. But first you want to go ahead and select the target drive. Make sure you're not like reading your, your main hard drive. So over on the left hand side, pick the PNY CS900. And uh, let's go ahead and click open on that. And uh, then you just want to go ahead and do a speed test here. Click the button and, and let's see what it does. So looks like on the writes it's about 374. And on the reads it's about 387.8. 
So there you go. For under 50 bucks, you do get a, a much faster you know, external SSD than maybe a USB drive that you just stick in. And it's really cheap and you get 256 gigabytes of storage. All right, so what do you think? Well, this is not going to be exactly a less C drive. I mean, I have to be honest. It's when you take off the orange bumper, the orange bumper is actually pretty tight. Um, when you actually take it off, though, the enclosure, the metal enclosure underneath it is pretty, you know, flimsy, I guess you'd say. It's pretty light, very, very light metal. The bumper does help. Um, the SSD is very light as well. So if you do drop it, you know, it's going to be one of those things where it's going to probably survive small falls because SSDs have pretty good shock absorption. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, you're going to, you know, if you threw this down, I don't think it's going to survive that well. So it's one of, you know, if you just don't want to get dings on it and things like that, if you want to put it in your backpack, I think it's going to be more than sufficient. You know, you can call it rugged. But if you're looking to maybe backpack, even though it has these rubber stoppers and things, and maybe you go into the water with this, this isn't going to, you know, stop water or anything like that. I think it's going to be pretty, you know, it's going to have some issues with it if you go into water with it. So rugged, yes, but it's not water resistant. So just keep that in mind. Also, I don't think it's like bulletproof or maybe maybe even BB proof. You know, you could probably shoot a pellet gun through this thing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's probably a little bit better than some of the ones that come out there. And you know, for under 50 bucks SSD storage, you could probably drop it for a couple, you know, from a couple feet off a table or something, and it's going to survive. What else can you ask for? Anyways, thanks again for watching my channel. If you guys know, I do a ton of Mac videos. I also do PC stuff. Do travel, I do some finance, but if you can support the channel and subscribe, it's going to help me out. I'm also going to have links to the descriptions on these products, again, in my description, in case you want to check them out. Helps the channel out, but definitely, if you don't want to buy them that way, buy them any way you want. Take care, and we'll see you soon.